Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's only a couple people in this house I trust to make margaritas. <laughs> The ball around it, it gets a I definitely bit. want to overdo it on food. Whenever you're having a party, you don't want to have people feel like they're taking the last of anything. So I, I roughly say, um, you know, half a pound of meat per person. So Susan, well, uh, Eric's going ahead and making that chicken. I figured we need to get drunk. So let's make some more <laughs> This is great to make somebody else do if you want. Don't want them in your way. <laughs> And you're going to use this great juicer that Eric got at William Sonova. I want to throw a shout out to this again because this thing is awesome. Also, while she's doing that, what you're going to need is a half a cup of Contro and about three cups of tequila. And then you're going to also need a half a cup of lime juice. So, margaritas were made by El Vidal El Margarita. He's a homeless man working in a shoe store. And basically one day he said, my life sucks, so I'm going to get drunk. So we went ahead and went to the Mexican Liberace, and he said, help me make an awesome drink. They came up with this really great drink called margaritas. So all right, we got the lime juice in there. Half a cup there. Also, we're gonna need some agave uh, nectar, I believe. The orange liqueur. Yeah. Orange liqueur. And then of course, to bring in a little bit of sweetness. Hold it up close. We put a little bit of agave nectar in there. Well, you just, you just guesstimate at it. Uh, Three cups of tequila, this. That's one cup. Oh, uh, there's more in the freezer. All right, so we're on our second cup of tequila here. All right, the mix again is, you're gonna need a half cup of lime juice. You're gonna need three oranges. You're gonna need three cups of tequila. And one half a cup of Contro. And just a little bit of agave nectar. Margaritas, El Cinco de Mayo.